Hello Shamia, who is presenting about management of rate pressure and rail chest. Uh, this topic was supervised by Dr. Wang Ibing. Okay, uh, rib fractures are the most common injury sustained following blunt chest trauma. It is uh, rarely life-threatening themselves, but can uh, be a external marker of more severe visceral injuries in such chest and abdomen. So, uh, this is the common causes lah for elderly people, uh, usually fall from height or standing or uh, secondary to pathological fractures. But this is uh, less uh, less than the commonest one in elderly, such as a trochan trick fracture lah, due to fall. Uh, the second, uh, an adult commonly, uh, commonly uh, due to uh, MBA, high speed MBA. So the chest, uh, during the sudden break, the chest uh, collide with the uh, steering of the vehicles. Uh, and then uh, in young patient or youth patient, uh, usually uh, due to recreational activities, athletic activities. Others such as uh, penetrating trauma, stress fractures, uh, if patient has uh, chronic coughing, uh, pathological fracture uh, from the primary or secondary condition, or fractures uh, secondary to radiotherapy or non-accidental injuries lah in children. So, uh, this uh, briefly anatomy of the uh, thoracic cage. Uh, we have uh, true ribs and false rib. Uh, we have uh, clothing ribs also. The true ribs is the uh, from the first until seventh, and the uh, false rib uh, from eight to ten uh, ribs. Uh, the true ribs uh, they articulate uh, anteriorly directly to the sternum via costal cartilage. And the uh, post rib, uh, they not directly uh, attached with sternum. And then the floating ribs uh, is eleven uh, and twelve. The most common ribs to fracture are four to ten ribs. This uh, the first three uh, that are protected by the clavicle and shoulder girdle. So it require a significant amount of force uh, to fracture these uh, ribs, lah. And the floating ribs, 11 and 12, are more mobile, so less likely to fracture. And then the traumatic fracture uh, usually tend to occur at the site of impact or at the weakest point, uh, at the posterior lateral curve. So, uh, we describe the rib fracture by numbers, number of ribs broken, the unilateral or bilateral injury, the position on the ribs, is it anterior, lateral or posterior, uh, is the fracture displaced or undisplaced? And then uh, the presence or absence of a flail segment. Uh, okay, this is the complications of the rib fracture. Uh, the first one, uh, lung contusion. Uh, and then the pneumo or hemothorax, the chronic pain. Uh, injury to underlying organs such as spleen, liver, diaphragm, and kidneys, and then pneumonia, also the flail chest. Uh, uh, usually, we have uh, uh, immediate effect or the within uh, hours to days uh, the effect. Uh, the immediate effect on ventilation uh, is due to significant damage or distortion to the thorax, uh, such as if the displaced fracture it can type pleural or vessel, so it will lead to. Uh, pneumothorax or hemothorax. Uh, if significant deformity, uh, this will lead to decrease in total lung capacity. And then, uh, within hours of this, uh, the lung contusion, for example, uh, with or with, uh, without adequate analgesia, it can uh, exacerbate the respiratory failure. Uh, pain from the fracture uh, will limit the chest wall movement. So, this will result resulting in decrease in tidal volume and inability of patient to cough effectively. So, patient will develop lung atelectasis and uh, retention of sputum, so later will cause pneumonia. In case of blunt trauma uh, with lung contusion, bleeding in tissue, uh, also the edematous, uh, edema, edema of the tissue, will impair the gas exchange. So, this will reduce the lung compliance and patient will develop the respiratory distress. Another uh, complication is the flail chest. This uh, flail chest is the 
paradoxical chest wall movement in patient who is breathing spontaneously lah. Uh, usually the present of three uh, contig- contiguous ribs fracture in two or more places. During a uh, normal uh, inspiration and expiration, uh, so in inspiration, uh, our diaphragm contract and intercostal muscle pull the rib cage out. So the thoracic pressure, uh, uh, thoracic pressure decrease below atmospheric uh, pressure. So enter will uh, came, uh, apa? Came in lah through trachea. During expiration, the diaphragm and intercostal muscle relax, increasing the internal pressure and allowing abdominal organ to push air upward and out from the thorax. In flail chest, the <coughs> during inspiration, uh, fracture seg- segment will be pulled in with decrease in pressure while the rest ribcage expand. During expiration, the fracture segment will be, be pushed out while the rest uh, of ribcage contact. So this, uh, we call this a uh, paradoxical uh, chest wall movement or paradoxical breathing lah. So by inspection, we can see uh, chest wall contusion, patient has uh, bruising, uh, also the paradoxical chest wall movement and patient uh, in respiratory distress lah. By palpation, we can uh, felt the crepitation of the uh, fracture part. Investigation uh, usually by X-ray we can see lah uh, the the I mean the location of the fracture. Uh, if by ABG uh, we can see respiratory failure features uh, with hypoxia. This is the example of imaging X-ray and CT. Uh, over the right side, uh, this uh, sorry, you can see uh, this the second with uh, two. Second, third, fourth, uh, so the fifth fracture, also ada clavicular fracture, the proximal part. The CT show, this is the uh, flail segment lah. Uh, okay, I want to show you the flail chest uh, video. Eh, sorry. Okay, this is uh, as you can see. Boleh nampak ke? Okay, sorry. Uh, this is the paradoxical chest wall movement uh, for flail flail chest. During uh, if you if you can see during patient inspire ins, uh, inspiration, the flail segment move uh, opposite. If patient uh, expire, the flail segment uh, move opposite to the uh, direction lah. Nampak kan? Also, uh, we can see the bruises, uh, the traumatic part lah. Okay. We continue uh, to the management. Usually, the rib fracture is uh, following the trauma. Trauma so, uh, basic in uh, trauma management will be A, B, C, D, E lah. Uh, we make sure uh, patient punya uh, airway is pattern. If patient need uh, intubation, then we prepare lah for every uh, prepare lah. And then uh, for breathing, uh, uh, we evaluate uh, in case of uh, impending uh, cardiorespiratory failure. If patient has uh, pneumothorax or hemo, uh, hemothorax cardiac tamponade, and then we, uh, apa, uh, we do the apa ni? Uh, chest tip insertion, okay. uh, thoracosynthesis. Okay. Uh, for circulation, we make sure patient has uh, two uh, IV line, two large pore uh, line. Identify if patient in shocks. Uh, so if patient need resuscitation, we settle that first also. And in uh, disability, uh, we assess the, the neurological function. We use AVPU. Uh, if patient alert, if not alert, then we use uh, verbal stimuli. If patient not uh, responsive, we use the painful stimuli. Uh, and then if uh, if not, then patient unresponsive lah. Also the exposure. So this is the basically the summary of uh, how we uh, manage. I will uh, explain. Uh, Later, the the admission criteria, uh, basically on uh, this uh, details lah. Uh, number of rib fracture, age of the patient, 
comorbidities, uh, pain score, pain score. Uh, we uh, this is the dynamic pain score, uh, which uh, we assess uh, the pain during uh, coughing and in, in uh, breathing lah. Also, if patient has a uh, pneumo or hemothorax, uh, patient has lung contusion or patient under alcohol uh, influence, uh, under uh, patient came uh, with assault or any social issue. Uh, if uh, more than three rib fracture uh, at any age or more than 45 years old with rib fracture, we admit patient. Uh, but usually in here, uh, if patient more than two rib fracture, we admit lah. Uh, for, uh, for observation and for management. And if the patient need uh, critical care or respiratory support, of course we admit the patient. Uh, for example, in flare chest, patient need uh, PPV to reverse the mechanism of paradoxical chest wall movement and to restore the tidal volume. If uh, if uh, patient need critical care, uh, so uh, yes, we admit for intensive care support. Uh, for example, patient aged more than 60 years old with significant comorbidities, uh, hemodynamically unstable with severe lung contusion. So this patient need a regular assessment, uh, nebulizing therapy, incentive spirometry, chest physio, oxygen support. We refer uh, an esteem uh, for pain management and ICU care. If uh, if uh, no need for uh, intensive care, uh, no need for critical care, so. We admit to general ward lah for analgesia and incentive spirometry chest visual therapy. And if patient achieve a uh, good incentive spirometry, uh, SpO2 more than 95% under room F, we can consider discharge lah. If not achieve, and then we can uh, consider surgical intervention. Uh, this is the indication for surgical internal fixation. If uh, chest wall deformity uh, with respiratory failure. But uh, this, in case of this patient, uh, if a uh, patient already in, uh, for example, in already in high setting of uh, ventilation, but still not improving, so we must correct uh, this the surgical intervention lah. or any injury to the heart and large blood vessel, <coughs> injury to the lungs. Even we, uh, if we inserted uh, chest tube, everything, but patient still pouring of blood. So we need uh, to correct this uh, surgical intervention. Uh, any perforation of uh, diaphragm or chest wall, this totally need the surgical uh, intervention. Also, if uh, fail conservative management, lah. for example, if uh, progression of dislocation that uh, may cause intrathoracic complication. Okay, uh, this is the chest core injury, but uh, this is, uh, we, uh, we not use guideline. As a guideline, lah, but we not uh, depend. Uh, we not depend on this, lah. Just uh, as a guideline. For example, uh, uh, this patient, seventy-three years old, with four rib fracture, uh, has chronic obs uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, but oxygen saturation is good, ninety-six percent under room air. So uh, this is the scoring to uh, to use uh, for suggested uh, treatment approach, lah. Uh, the score okay. This this patient seventy three years old. So for age, we uh, add uh, one plus uh, one point uh, for each uh, ten years over the age of ten. So uh, we uh, six scoring is six year because uh, more than ten is uh, twenty to seventy. So total uh, six. Uh, if a uh, rib fracture, uh, three point for each individual fracture. So four rib fracture we times by three, so total point is twelve. If patient has uh, chronic lung disease, so we add five. And then this patient not any uh, on any anticoagulant or antiplatelet, uh, so zero zero score. And oxygen saturation is good, so zero lah. So total twenty three. Uh, so by this uh, suggested approach, this patient uh, on the third line lah for aggressive. But this is the guideline just to make sure we did not miss uh, apa ni? Uh, we did not miss the uh, management lah. Uh. Okay, um, okay, uh, that's all from me. Any question?